my channel day. Today's video, we're going to be unbagging Ipsy. So this month I decided I'm actually going to be making them, by the way, I'm not showing my address. This is my PO box, but I get a few comments about that every single time. It's my PO box. It's the address that is listed in that description box for you guys. But like I was saying, I got a lot of requests in my last battle of the boxes to do these separately. So I was like, you know what? Okay. I'm okay with that. Cause I love doing unboxing videos. They're my favorite videos to film. So we're going to be doing Ipsy and Birchbox separately this month. So let me know in the comments down below if you guys like it this way or if you want to go back to the Battle of the Boxes. I always love hearing your opinions, so just let me know in the comments down below. But also, if you're brand new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. That way you get notified for future videos. And now let's go ahead and see what I got in my Ipsy bag. All right, let's open this up. Do -do -do. Oh, check out the bag this month. This is so cute. They're little like sun umbrellas that like sit outside on the beach. They almost look like little peppermints if you don't look at them closely because you know peppermints are fully round. These ones have like those little like divots. But yeah, they're cute little beach umbrellas on it. And the bag is holographic, not hieroglyphic. I remember when I screwed up that on the Smashbox packaging. A lot of you wanted to correct me on it. You know, you just have those days that you just mix up some words and that was a really big mix up, but Oh well, it is a holographic packaging on the bag. It is super pretty. I like these. I love the Ipsy bags. I love reusing them. But now let's go ahead and see what I got. Okay, so first off in my Ipsy bag, I got the Me Matte Trimoni. Oh, this is so cute. I really want to try this palette out because it looks like a really, really pretty palette. And I really love the balm eyeshadows. I think they're really good. So this one, I just got a little eyeshadow sample right there, which is adorable. It's a really pretty burgundy color. It's called Matt Kumar. Ooh, let's swatch. Yes. Oh my gosh, just look how pigmented that is. That is crazy. Oh, this is pretty. That is a gorgeous burgundy red right there. Yes, that would look gorgeous just to like deepen up the crease with. Super excited about that. I love the balm. Okay, so next up I have a model launcher. This is model launcher felt tip liner. Ooh, Emerald Isle. It looks like it's supposed to be back, but Emerald Isle must be, it is green. I don't know. Let's open this up. All right. So I got that opened up. So there is the packaging right there. Let's see what this looks like. Oh yeah, it is green. Ooh, it's pretty, but you know what? It's really liquidy. Oh, you guys can totally tell I am wearing a green liner right now. I just got these in the mail today and these are the Too Faced sketch markers. I'm wearing the shade Smoky Emerald, which is gorgeous. It was a little bit harder for me to use because I'm not the best with wing liner. So this definitely took some time and I definitely had to go over it to make it like really, really pigmented, but it was better than this. That This one didn't bleed out. This bleeds out, I can tell. It dries down matte, but it definitely did bleed out into my little fine line. I am definitely gonna have to try this out on my eyes to see how I like it, but I love the color. The color has a little bit, it looks like it has almost a little bit of shimmer in it. It's, it's a really gorgeous kind of like deep emerald green. So I actually really like the color. I just don't know what I think about the formula. All right, let's see what I got. Ooh, I can feel this. And right now it feels like it's a lotion, which I'm super excited about. Is it? Oh, it's a hand cream. Heck yes, all right, I'm excited. Okay, so this is Delectable. Ooh, I've seen their brand before. And yeah, so I believe you can get Delectable at Target. Not entirely sure, but I'm pretty sure it's at Target. And this is the Ultra Nourishing Hand Cream, Lemon and Cream. It's Shea Butter, Coconut Oil, and Aloe Vera. And look how big it is. It, this is like huge. I am so excited for this. Yes. Oh, I have to take off a little thingy inside. Okay some on my hand. Oh, this looks so nice. Oh, it's a really nice smell, but I wish it was a little bit stronger. It's very like kind of, yeah. Oh, it's a little bit stronger once you start rubbing it in. It becomes a little bit more potent. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like a lemon bar. That's what it smells like. You know those little lemon bars, those little desserts that are really good? That's what it smells like. Yes. Ooh, it feels good. It doesn't leave you feeling sticky. Ooh. I'm excited. I think the products that I'm always like most excited about in these bags are lip products and hand creams. Yeah. All right, super excited right here. Oh my goodness, this is the Bare Minerals Gen Nude Matte Liquid Lip Color and this is in the shade Swag. So I actually just recently hauled, I got two of these ones and I've been wearing them nonstop. I have Slay and I, what's the other one called? 
I think it starts with an H or something. I can't remember the other name of it, but one's a nude and one's more of a mauve shade. And I'm obsessed with the formula, you guys. It's absolutely amazing, super comfortable to wear. It leaves like a really nice satin finish and it doesn't feel too drying on the lips. Even my sister bought one of them as well when we were there because she loved the formula and she's very picky about her lip products and that one she really likes. She got the color Slay as well. But this one is called Swag and it looks really pretty. Oh yeah, that is gorgeous. Look at that really pretty kind of rosy, what was that? Oh, the air turned on and there was like this little fuzzy going across my TV tray in front of me. It scared the crap out of me. I thought that thing was a bug. But this is the shade right here. Look at how pretty that is. Gorgeous mauve shade. Again, the formulation of these are amazing. I highly, highly recommend them and I'm so pumped that Ipsy included this in my bag. Way to go, Ipsy. All right, so next up I got in my bag, it looks like a concealer brush, but it's like completely bent. I don't know if, can you, yeah, you can see how bent that is. I think it got smashed in my bag. Oh, that's so sad, it's like, it's like moving a different way. I don't know, I don't think it's supposed to do that. Is it supposed to do that? Let me know in the comments down below if you have this brush. It's the Visante um, Eyeshadow 2 brush. Definitely looks like it got a little smash. It feels really soft, and I think you can definitely still work with it because it's not like it's morphed a different way. It's just a little crooked, but yeah. That looks like fun. I always love using eyeshadow brushes like this because it really allows them to really pack onto the lid and become even more pigmented. So that's what I'll use, or even like a concealer. I thought this was honestly like a concealer brush when I first looked at it, but it looks really nice. It just looks a little bit crooked. All right, so that is everything I got in my Ipsy bag this month. I got a brush, I got a hand cream, I got an eyeshadow, and I got an amazing liquid lipstick. So Ipsy dominated this month, like super, super dominated this month. I'm blown away. I am so happy with this bag. <sighs> Ipsy was worrying me there for a while. Like my bags were just not very good. I wasn't that into them. And now they're like stepping up their game finally and they're doing an amazing job. So I definitely give this bag a huge thumbs up this month. Make sure to leave me a comment down below and tell me what you got in your Ipsy bag. I love hearing what you guys got in your bags as well. And let me know your thoughts on it too because my bag this month like dominated like this was really good so if you guys enjoyed this ipsy and bagging make sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for future videos and i will see you guys in my next video bye i got a ton of requests from you guys in my last bottle of the box Ugh. my tongue hurts because even my sister went Ugh. i have to say it's also getting really hot in my house right now all these lights on me joel got mad at me about the electric bill Getting hot in here.